sunog talaga taon-taon. Tapos yung mga pananim namin, saging, kamuting kahoy, pati na yung mga kalabaw na nasusunog rin. Katong mga tanong mga sama tong ubi, karlan, bulanghoy, uban pa. Mau to'y magamit mo to sa magkinanglan na mo sa mong pamilya para sa makaon na. Kaya huwag mangulod na to. Ano mag dito to'y mong magamit. Huwag usap po <laughs> magkatabang po to sa kalambuan sa among lasang. Kung madag ko na itong mga kahoy, siyempre landong na po ang lasang. Dili upaw na mga wala na yung mga kanang lunop. Ano yung tawag na? Kanang landslide. Kaya nakapugong naman to sa katong mga kahoy. Nakapugong itong dalid sa yuta. the upland ecosystem, the lowland ecosystem, the coastal ecosystem, and the marine ecosystem. There is an interconnection among those. So it should be balanced. So that is why we need to rehabilitate the upland ecosystem. With the area getting bigger in terms of planting, more people are employed. When more people are visiting the area, the more people was able to market their product while doing the forest restoration. Yes, we will keep on working in this uh, sustainable way. People are witnessing the positive effects that working together for a better environment that brings to different sectors from agriculture to forestry. And we want to know more about the successful strategies for restoring landscapes that we have implemented here.